Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use resource files in Qt. Now in the previous to previous video I have shown you how you can add an image inside a label in Qt. So when I run this program you can see I have shown you how you can add this image in a Q label like this. And in that video, I have uh, shown you how to uh, do it using uh, this type of code, which is this one, right? So if you don't know, uh, you can just watch the previous to previous video and you will be able to, uh, you know, uh, see that I have shown you this kind of code in order to show this image. But there was one problem with this uh, code, which was the location because I have given the absolute path of the image to uh, show it inside the queue label which is not the good practice because imagine whenever you want to uh, port your uh, Qt application on uh, for example a different operating system like Linux and then this Linux operating system doesn't have this kind of folder structure so this location will not be found and this image will not be shown uh, on the label and uh, even on the same operating system for example you want to uh, you know transfer your uh, application from one windows operating system to another it may be possible that this location is not present in the other uh, windows operating system so it's always a good practice to provide uh, not absolute path but the relative path and Qt allows us to create a resource file in which we can give the information about our files and then we can provide the location according to that and this makes it easier to uh, you know port our application from one computer to another because it doesn't uh, follow this strict path structure okay so let's see how we can create a resource file so in order to create a resource file you just need to right click on your project and then click add new and in here go to qt and select qt resource file and then choose and then give the name of your file so for example resource itself i'm going to give the name to my resource file as resource itself or uh, you can change the name uh, to anything you just need to uh, you know give any name according to your uh, usage right so i have given here resource uh, name and then click next and then uh, just click finish okay and after clicking finish you will be able to see here there is one category uh, added to our project which is resources and when you expand this you can see this is our resource.qrc file so this is the name which we have provided and uh, this has the extension of qrc file right now when you select this qrc file you will be able to see at the bottom some options so you can uh, just click this combo box here and you can see there is an option called add prefix so prefix is something like a folder structure you want to give in your project so for example i have this uh, image at a particular location in my uh, computer not in my project but in my computer and i want to uh, transfer this to my project so first of all let's create a folder inside our project so i'm going to right click uh, on any of the source file in the project like this and then click show in explorer which is going to open uh, the project path for you okay and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, create a new folder and I'm going to name it as IMG for images right and inside this uh, image folder I'm going to copy my image so just I will just uh, copy this uh, image to this image folder which I've created inside my login uh, project which is uh, this project right so i have this image now here okay now i'm going to minimize everything and then i can go here and first of all i will create a prefix so here just uh, add prefix 
and you can see there is already this uh, default option which is uh, given to you which is slash new slash prefix so you can change this prefix to for example img for images right and you can see uh, it's added here so just uh, press enter and this prefix will be added to your uh, you know qrc file right and then you can give the location of your uh, image right so what you can do here is now once again go here add and then this time you will be able to add your image here so you can just click add files and it's going to ask you from where we want to add files so just go to image folder which we have created and select the image which you have uh, you know uh, pasted here right so something like this okay so you can see we have the image folder and inside the image folder we have once again image folder and slash uh, login icon dot png something like this even you can uh, just change this prefix to instead of image just change this to only forward slash and uh, this will be your uh, location or better we can change the name of this uh, you know prefix as resources right so you have your resource folder and then you have image slash uh, login uh, uh, file here right so this is how you can add the resource file in your project now in order to use this resource file in your project what you can do is you can once again extend this uh, you know qrc uh, file and you can see there is a resource folder which indicates this uh, folder and inside the resource folder you have this uh, file which is image slash login uh, png and when you right click on this image you will be able to see this option which says copy path and without qrc so this is the first path which is copy path not copy url but copy path so just uh, click this option which says copy path and then go to your code wherever you have provided the location of your image previously this was the location we have provided earlier instead of this you just need to uh, click paste here because we have already copied the path right so this will be the path of your image from here okay so now you can see there is no strict path according to the operating system it, it's according to the rules of qt not according to uh, the rules of any operating system so linux operating system can also recognize this image path and windows operating system can also recognize this image for path right now we are going to run our application and let's see everything is uh, good or not so just wait for it and you can see everything is fine here right so in this way you can provide the resource file in your project and maintain it not even the images you can uh, provide any json file if you want to read any json files or any other format of files you can uh, provide under the resource uh, you know folder of files here right and uh, you don't uh, need to worry about the path of uh, these files anymore because qt has uh, this resource file option for you so i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now